Ok, tu vas parler.
Un jour, mon père, il m'a emmené au cirque. J'étais fasciné par les trapézistes. À chaque fois qu'ils sautaient, j'avais peur qu'ils tombent. Alors mon père, bah, il me prenait dans ses bras et puis il me disait « T'en fais pas, Winnie, c'est des pros. <rire> » Et à ce moment-là, il y a un gars, il loupe le trapèze. Le plus marrant dans tout ça, c'est pas que le cirque jouait son filet. Ou bien que mon père est un menteur, non. Le plus drôle dans tout ça, c'est que toi aussi tu vas tomber. Et que c'est moi qui vais couper la corde. Et quand j'en aurai fini avec toi, on t'appellera Lola. C'est mignon Lola, non Et tu me rétueras les doigts de pied avec ta langue et t'aimeras ça. Ça va, tu t'es bien amusé là Allez, on y retourne. Allez, dégagez là Dégagez I'm looking for Jeremy Dawson. Jeremy. Take it slowly, Jeremy, okay? Come on. Sorry, man. You have to believe me. I 
They told me to stop. I just... We were all fucking wasted. I hate myself so much. You have to forgive me. Please. I can't. That's just not possible. What the fuck do you want from me? I'm going to spend the rest of my life in jail. What more do you want? I know it's probably not what you want to hear right now. But you can't even begin to imagine how much I hate myself. There's nothing you can do to me that I won't do to myself. I'm begging you. You have to forgive me. I'm really sorry. I can't. That's not gonna happen. What do you want from me? about I'm going to do this
Rifle ready? Check. Grenades? Check. You better bring some knives as well. It could get to close contact. I have to pee. Right. Um, there's bushes back there. Go on. We've got enemy soldiers coming this way. Why didn't you tell me you took the last fucking tampon? You know mine starts a few days after yours. <sighs> Come on, is this really the time? You could have left just one. My knickers are stuffed with toilet paper. Yeah, well, you do like a good stuffing. <sighs> You're in charge of the med kit. You should have got more. you've taken all the painkillers too. You know how bitchy I get with my cramps. Do you really want me in a bad mood? Come on. My cramps are way worse than yours. <gasps> You're supposed to tell me when you take the last one. You know how much I need the first few days. And I don't. I need the really big ones. It's like fucking an afterbirth. Use a pad then. Tampons won't soak that shit up. No, that makes me feel like I'm wearing a nappy. We'll cut the supplies and get you all the tampons you need. All right. Am I going to have to start labelling mine? <laughs> Don't come out. I'll do your washing for you. All right. Will that make you happy? And the next round's on you. (gasps) 
Were you hit? Fuck no. Just cramps. Right, come on. Let's get you some painkillers. Yeah, and then a pint. Do we have to go to that pub? That beer gives me gas. I like that pub. Oh, you would. You've got shit taste in pubs. I'm gonna go anywhere with you. Morning. Morning. I know what the ringing in my head is. Can never be too cautious. <laughs> Well, my boot for a reason, sunshine. You got a cigarette? I smoke my own, but you know, it's stolen from me. Which, to be honest, is pretty woo. I mean, sure, this is your job, right? Taking a man's last cigarette. It's like some messed up character flaw. <coughs> the guy in the sky. He judges you with shit like that. Man, I'm in the dirt. I can't feel my hands and my brain goes like it's leaking down my fucking ears. I could bother, bro. You want to go back in the booth? Now, how much they paying you to deliver me? Now, uh, wait, who? Who's the client? Then how much? Then it's more. You Yankees ever stop yapping? You know, it's one thing to be a ruthless cunt. But it takes real effort to be a fucking asshole. I know you. No, you don't. Sure I do. Scarred lip, half Indian. Agent Smith looking motherfucker. You're the postman, right? I knew it! <laughs> Didn't know Healy. Did he work for you in Chinatown back in the day? That's true. See, I never believed him, right? Partly because no offense, but we all thought you were an urban legend. Partly because, you know, he was a compulsive fucking liar. Frick can't help it, though. Oh, man. There's one time. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I babble, I babble when I know, okay? That's why I smoke. It calms my nerves. I wipe off. So, bet. Better hit. Better hit, Vera? I'm gonna call you V, V. So, V. You got something to cut this? I just keep it.
man. I can't believe I'm fighting the both, man. It's like the fourth best moment of my life. I want to hear something funny. Klein, he ain't late. He's standing by you. Swifty? Yep. The postman. You sure? Yep. Trying to track this asshole down for a long time. I'll make some form sooner. No problem too small, no job too fucked up. I gotta write that down. Miss Jackson wants a word. Cool. Just get in contact with my secretary. You don't have a secretary. There's only so many sexual harassment cases one man can take, right? Who knows what I'm talking about? Sorry, sweetie. Miss Jackson's waiting. You think so? This isn't the time to be getting blurry. You're either in or you're out. No half measures. He's a two man job. Can't do it without you. It's risk versus reward. If you want the latter, you have to take the former. Okay. I'm good. Let's go.
fuck! Fuck you, cunt. Who's your fucking boyfriend? Very nice. Well, wash your mouth out with pepper spray. Upstairs! We're here to effect a search of the premises. I'm presuming we're going to have your full cooperation. Well, if you tell me what you're looking for, this can go a lot quicker. He doesn't speak. He doesn't move. Gotcha. Cut my hands loose and I'll pour us both a drink, eh? I've got a lovely bottle of scotch in the cupboard. No whiskey drinker. How about I chop us out a cheeky wee line? I won't say anything to the gaffer. Just keep it down, all right. Sorry. Can't help it. I talk when I'm nervous. Don't even bother trying to play games with me. Hey! I was fast asleep when two coppers broke in, dragged me out of bed and started fucking up my house. If there's games to be played, I've already lost. Back up there and keep an eye on him. How much longer? As long as it takes. Just tell me the fuck up. Listen. Watch your mouth. Remember who's in charge here. Train the command went out the window the minute we broke in it without a warrant. We're here till we find the bag or the sun comes up, whichever comes first. Now get back upstairs and keep an eye on him. No warrant, no lawyer, no phone call. Surely it's about time you told me what you're looking for. You know exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, maybe. But I want to hear you say it. The bag. And what did he tell you was in the bag? Enough. To kill for? No one's getting killed. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm fucking sure. Don't flatter yourself. Well, if I don't, who will? Looks to me like you two have got very different reasons for pulling me out of bed. You, and you're just greedy, but he's desperate. You see, there's a lot more in that bag than just easy money. Your partner, well, he's up to his neck in it. Had his hand in my pocket long as I've been in business. It's just bad luck for him I keep such detailed records. You're gonna tell me where it is? Who you been talking to, Jimmy boy? Oh, come on. You might as well tell me now. What difference does it make? It was Simon. Simon? And what did he tell you? He said you kept it close. And you believed him? Gave him good enough reason not to lie. Did he tell you everything? Looks like you're gonna have to fill in the blanks. And if I don't? Carve you up. Don't forget what you are, Jimmy. You cross this line, you're one of us. Fair game. I'm nothing like you. You're poisoning communities. You're killing people and you're getting fat and rich off it, and that disgusts me. See, I don't want to hurt you. So give me a reason. Oh, fuck yourself, Jimmy! Oh! It's in the bedroom! Where? On the floor is a secret compartment in the corner! Christ! <sighs> Keep your eyes on him. Ah. 
You know he's got a gun, right? When this turns from robbery to execution, where does that leave you? Witness to a murder you wanted no part of? Either that or a loose end. <laughs> Seems to me you're double fucked either way. Shut your mouth. Or what? You'll handcuff me, ransack my house and steal my shit. Now you want to threaten me, you do what your partner did. Grab a knife and start cutting. sofa behind one of the cushions as a gun is. It's reliable and it's ready to shoot. Bloody gun gives you another five years. You're wasting time. Any second now, your partner's gonna come storming up those stairs and stick a gun in my face. And I am done. But you've still got half a chance. Did you not find it? Fucking time waster. What the fuck are you doing, Jimmy? You never said anything about a gun. Why should I? I'm an authorised firearms officer and this is a firearm. That is not police issue. No, I know it's not. I took it off his pal Simon. has got his prints all over it. I pull the trigger and Simon takes the blame. Jimmy. Jimmy, we never agreed to this. Well, it's happening, so either man up or fuck off! Jimmy, this is fucking murder! That's up to him. Now, I'm not going to say this is your last chance because you've already had that. Where's the bag? Where's the fucking bag? Jimmy. Jimmy, listen to me. You need to calm down. Jimmy. Where's the bag? Where's the fucking bag? Where's the fucking bag? Jimmy, I'm fucking warning you. Let me look, okay? Oh, it's bad. If I put my finger in the wound, I can maybe stop the bleeding long enough for an ambulance to get here. showed up, just like you said. It wasn't a lone song. Not exactly according to plan, but it's done. Yeah, he's off our backs for good. I'm gonna need a hand with the clear-up. Simon. Bring the bag.
In 2019, humankind fell victim to the most devastating plague in recorded history. No one knows the origins of this virus, and as yet, no cure exists. All we know is that with every savage bite, the plague spreads. Entire nations were decimated. Some fought back, driving the infected away from the cities and barricading them out. Behind fortified city walls, society struggles to rebuild, leaving the world beyond to the savage outsiders. Many believe all hope is lost. Many believe this is the end of times. Many believe this is Armageddon. But one man sees things differently. One man gives hope to millions. One man thinks it's awesome! Hunter Smith, and today we're in the moors of England. As always on the show, we're going to be hunting the outsiders. But in the first time in the show's history, we're going to be doing it in their own environment in the wild. With me is Dr. James Borens, notorious pro outsider activist. He thinks these flesh eating bastards are just misunderstood. Good to have you on the show, Doc. Thank you for having me. Ready to get some? Well, that's not really why. Ah, then let's get some. Now, I think it's fair to say that you see the outies a little differently than most what I would call sane people. The outsiders, <clears throat> as I and other normal people prefer to call them. Beast hugger, monster botherer, Dr. Strangelove, Professor Chinless. All names hurled at you for your beliefs. The outsiders need our compassion, not our hatred and fear. Fear? Who's afraid, Doc? Uh, no offence, but... I'm going to show you just how batshit certifiable the idea of compassion is where outies are concerned. By tackling these mindless savage beasts on their home turf, we've driven them from our cities. It's time to finish the job. Let's get some! And cut! Good work, Doc. Great stuff. Can you please stop calling cuts? No, a moment was perfect. Got to keep the energy up. Let's turn it around, people. Right. Respect, Hunter. There is such a thing. I respect each and every one of you. Come on, Lise. I respect BJ, don't I, BJ? That's just because he makes you look good. I respect this guy. What's his name? He's the sound guy. He's called Mike. It's an honor to be a Mike. I'm going to be the first. That's the spirit. Oh, God, how do we find these people? Look, doll. Don't call me doll. You used to like it. Yeah, well, we all have our blips. Don't let him browbeat you. You could outsmart this Neanderthal in your sleep. He's an axe. You have a brain and a voice. Use it. No. Oh, you have a great voice, sir. Very rich timbre. Like velvet. <laughs> mm, thank you. You said the first earlier? The first what? Uh, first sound man to survive an entire rep. Mike 3, Ned Butters, he holds the record. Made it past the final ad break. Disemboweled two minutes before the end credits. <laughs> well, you're gonna need more than fancy training shoes to run faster than the outsiders. Oh, only need to run faster than you, sir. <laughs> We're ready for action, and the fat lady's ready to sing. Now, just to remind you, Doc, should you be infected by the outies, I'm legally bound to shoot you. Hope that's not too simplistic. Stick close. And cut!
So, pop quiz, Doc. Your wife's infected by the virus. She's turned mutey. She's literally after your beating heart. Probably your old fella for desserts, too. You're packing heat. It's her or you. What do you do? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be packing heat. And secondly, I think it's wrong to frame the debate in such terms. Look, all I'm saying is that we have a duty as human beings to our less fortunate fellows to do everything we can to try and help them, to try and cure them. <laughs> the only cure are these puppies. I won't believe that their humanity is lost. Ah. In all my years hunting these beasts, I haven't seen a single shred of evidence. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! <coughs> 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 Please tell me you set this trap. Why and when would I have done that? I don't know, some stupid secret way of jazzing up the show. All righty, come on. <sighs> Not a single shred. There's no way Outie's could have done this. We don't know what outsiders can and can't do because you're too busy slaughtering them like some moronic butcher before anybody gets a chance to I, study them. I am not a moron. And outsiders are nothing but knuckle-dragging monsters incapable of setting moron snaring traps. <laughs> there, you admit it. I'm quoting you that we can find a cure. You couldn't find a cock in a dick shop. Children, we need to leave, OK? It's going to be dark soon. Ergo, Mr Buffalo Bellend, you're an alpha moron in complete and utter denial. Yeah? Well, you can ergo and suck on my grandfather's leathery balls! BJ, you still rolling? Yeah, I got you, mate. Come on! <laughs> And cut! <sighs> BJ, you legend. Great techers. Everyone OK? <sighs> oh, shit, BJ. Sorry, Hunter. I'm sorry. We all signed the waiver. you in a mic bag, buddy. See you on the other side. If these things can think, we need to get back to the city, reassess. No, we can't go back now. How do we know we'll be able to find this pack again? We might have spooked them. Yeah, they look really fucking spooked. Look, they were smart enough to lay that trap. If the outsiders can think, then they can feel. That means the great hunter is a murderer. You want to go out there? Blind. Outnumbered. With no cameraman. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm suggesting. Fuck that. We go back to the city, come back with better light, bigger guns, and a new cameraman. Nuke the motherfuckers to kingdom come. All those in favour say fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! Get the rest of the camera. I guess your vote doesn't count, Doctor, no? Holy shit! Oh, my God. It looks like a child. Maybe they can breed. Keep it in your pants, Doc. Ah! No! no! It's just a kid. But then think about how much we can learn. OK, we'll get out of here. Come on. Come on. It's your lucky day, Schmeagel. I'm gonna make it. 
I'm gonna make it. I am gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! No, no, no. He's a sound man. He was never going to make it. You're such a cock. Hurry up, Hunter! I'm Hunter Smith. I... Hunter! Oh, fuck it. Keep it. You're going to need it. So you ready, Doc? Now let's get some. Sasha, Dieu sait que personne n'ici t'a fait de cadeau. Malgré ça, t'as su me prouver que tu méritais ta place parmi nous. Sasha, je suis très heureux et gord que tu es avec nous. Pour toi. Allons-y, on va boire. Bonne santé. Bonne santé. Soirée privée. Qu'est-ce qu'on prend Allez, on va te 
Мне хорошо, что ты влазишь в чужие дела. Не надо! Пошел! Пошел! Постарайтесь! Стоп! Хватит, хватит! Да, он не нужен. У вас тут романтично. Красиво. Так она красавица у тебя. Сокровище просто. Дочурка. Оставь, я она тут ни при чем. Позови ее. Она не дома. Она не мои родители. Не дома? Да она у родителей. Я что, похож на идиота? В рождественское утро. За кого вы меня принимаете, ребята? Позови ее. Послушай, оставь семью в покое. Они тут ни при чем. Слышишь? Не трожь их. Позови ее. <связь> Позови ее, я сказал. Савали, мой пес. Слышишь? Все, все хорошо. Иди сюда. Да, да. Давай, давай. О, сокровище. Уган. Скажи мне, сокровище мое, а ты была умничкой в этом году? М? Ну ты что, язык проглотила? Ты не бойся, ну. Мы тут все свои. Папа, мама и друг. А ты вообще в Деда Мороза веришь? Почему нет? А надо было бы, а надо было бы. Ты понимаешь, твои родители, они вели себя очень плохо. Они вели себя очень-очень плохо. И повели... Он говорит, не важно что. Он говорит, не важно что. Маленькая, ну-ка встань, постой вот так. Вот так, хорошо. Сейчас. Твои родители действительно вели себя очень плохо. Очень. И у меня нет, у меня нет выбора. Иначе Дед Мороз будет не настоящий. А ты, сокровище мое, ты просто молодец. Ты умничка. 
ты сокровище мое. Просто прелесть. Я тебе... У меня для тебя есть подарок. Да? Я даю тебе выбор. Выбор сохранить одного из родителей. Папу или маму. Ну, 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 не так быстро, понимаешь? Ты должна прежде, чем выбрать сокровище одного из родителей, надо, надо убить. Это не так просто. Иди сюда, Сумашка, иди сюда. Папа тебя любит. Лучше всех на земле. Сильно, сильно. Все, все. Все хорошо. Маленько, все хорошо. Tu as été sage cette année. Pardon? As-tu été sage cette année? Je ne sais pas si on peut un homme. Je serais plutôt un... un gros chien. Demande à une petite fille de 8 ans, 8 ans, de choisir lequel de ses parents vous la garde en vie. Puis cette petite fille-là, aujourd'hui, elle va demander au gros chien sale de choisir entre lui et ton fils. Sacha! C'est payant avec ton ami. Sacha! Pourquoi je te mets dans le dos? Dans le dos, dans le dos, je te mets dans le dos!
You gotta be kidding me. Remember that old TV show, The Rockford Files? God, I used to love that show. Rockford could always see through the bullshit to the truth. Anyway, let me introduce myself. The name is John Fetcher. But you can call me Fetch. Because I get things. It's what I do. So I got a call around 2 a.m. about this guy, Sonny. Seemed to jump bail and he was worth about 10 G's. Now, the only reason I bring him up is they always tell you it's easy. But you know what? It's never easy. It's, uh, Fetch. You know what to do. John, hey, it's Susan. <laughs> Quick question. Do you think you could get your head out of your ass and send me my alimony check? I'm still waiting for it, John. What is going on? Listen, all of the girls were getting together this week. We were all gonna go to the island. Marva, Beverly, all of my girls are humiliated by the fact that I can't even afford to go. Maybe if they were gonna go to IHOP for some lingam pancakes, I'd be in. But in this case, I have to send it out. John, what? Send me the check! She wasn't always that greedy. Then again, I wasn't always this broke. Either way, she's not as bad as she seems. I quit smoking the day she left. Six months and 12 days. All right, give me a break. I'm working on it. I just got hit by a car, for God's sake. She's the fattest girl we know. Does hey, Fetch, how you doing? It's Jimmy. You got my 10 grand? Uh, not exactly, man, but listen, I got something better for you. 50 G's, no problem. Be a piece of cake, man. Be easy. It's never easy. I've been doing this so long, it all starts to look the same. For example, a gig like this always begins with a mansion. Sometimes a maid. I have an appointment with the Smiths. And let's not forget. Mr. Fetcher, thanks for coming. The desperate rich couple. <coughs> Call me Fetch. Can you help us? Can you find her? Tell me what happened. Oh, last Friday night, we came home late from dinner. She was gone. My mother was babysitting. They must have taken her while she was sleeping. <laughs> she must have been so scared. <laughs> Cops? No. Of course I paid. Look, we, we just want Bella back, and we haven't heard anything. It's okay. We're gonna get her back. Right? I'm gonna need a recent photo. It's a cute kid. I'll be in touch. I got all the information I needed from the rich couple. It may not seem like much, but that ransom note gave me a pretty good idea where to start. See, this was Susan's problem with our relationship. It was always me waiting in some dirty alley and her waiting at home for me.
Here we go. Like clockwork. My low-life informant and his entourage. Meet Spike, your typical small-time crook who believes he's a rap star. Come on, Spike, sunglasses on a rainy day. Hey, Spike. Long time no see. Yo, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. I hear you're one of the big dogs now. <laughs> I'm doing all right. What? I don't know nothing about that kidnap. Yo. Now, this happens a lot in my line of work, and it's only going to get worse, so let me just make this quick. It never takes Spike long to give up the information. All right. I know what you're thinking. Come on, I just got attacked by four guys. I wish you could pull your head out of your ass and just call me back. Give me a little bit of fucking respect, you bonehead. It's your ex-wife. I'd like my money. It's called an out. Well. Like it's gonna be five more big ones, and uh, <laughs> what do you say, Frankie? I'm in. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wow. We are so easy. Look at these guys, dressed in black, smoking cigarettes, playing cards. They gotta be bad guys. Hello? 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 Anyone home? <laughs> so, sorry. My car broke down, and um, I saw your sign out here. I, I don't even know what this is, but I was wondering if you guys could help. Am I? <laughs> Am I interrupting? Who the fuck are you? I'm John Fetcher. You just call me Fetch. Fetch? Frankie, did you take care of that chair? What the fuck do you want, man?
Remember when I said it was going to get worse? This is what I was talking about. Going on. You let me down. Man. Here's the deal. I'm gonna ask you a question. You're gonna give me the right answer. If you don't, what are you out of your fucking mind? Do you know who I am, man? No. Where's Bella? And what you talking about? Which is Bella? Who? Did you want to say something? They're going to kill me if I tell you, man. Wait, 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 all starting to come together just like a good episode of the rockford files I was finally starting to see through the bullshit surprise surprise could have been so easy bruce it's never easy she wouldn't listen to me she had to call you she's so annoying do you know what it feels like to be bitched at all the time have somebody tell you all the time what to do as a matter of fact bruce i do Really? Well, well, there's no harm done here. What do you, what do you think we should do? I'll tell you what, uh, how about I double your fee and you're on your way? It's not an option. You might want to reconsider that. Where the hell did she come from? I should have seen it coming. It's original. Crooked husband, extorting money from the rich wife, while all the time cheating with the... Hot maid. Right. Normally, I, I don't hit women. You hit like a girl. <laughs> John, are you there? I can hear you breathing. John, listen, I just want you to know that I spoke to my father this morning, and he told me he thinks 
I can go back to the judging court and I can get more money. All I need to do is file one what a bitch. petition. Who was that? Jonas, I know. With you? Was that a girl? Bitch, you laughing at me? Listen, bitch, you get on the phone. <laughs> Like I said, it's never easy, but this time, it was worth it. They call me Fetch, because I get things. That's what I do. Hey, Susan, leave a message. Uh, Susan, it's John. I'm calling. I have the check you've been uh, waiting for, so uh, give me a call back. And uh, maybe I could drop it off. Let me know. Okay. <laughs> 